Hello and welcome back to Thai Girl Talk with me from Learn to Speak Thai and Lonnie from Tell Thai Heart. Lonnie talking about time. Yes. I know that this topic is really, really confusing. Right. It's so different right. because I've learned time in Thai several times. I've just now started to get it. But to be honest, I just kind of convert everything to the way Westerners tell time. I don't use by mong. So how do you say if you want to say, okay, let's meet 3 p.m.? Oh, I just say, jirgan sam mong ka. Sam mong. Yes, that could work, Lani. You know why? Because it cannot be 3 in the morning. Right. So they, okay, it's 3 p.m. Since we talked about this, let's try my system. Okay. And today you're going to learn about time one more time. Imagine this, Lani. You're going through the time machine and I'm bringing you back to the past. Let's oh. say Thailand 100 years ago. So now you are in a small village. You know, in, in the old time, that's small village. They have to be able to tell time somehow. So that's a system of telling time without having a clock. Okay. Is to giving a sound alert. Different equipment used to give the time. Mm-hmm. Let's say right now it's midnight. Midnight, okay. everybody's sleeping. But someone is staying up to give the time. Now oh. it's, it changed to 1 a.m. in the morning. You will hear this sound. It sounds like you hit the metal. You know, like ding. Oh, like right, that right. Sound, that's why it's become T. T means to hit. T. T. Right. To, tau, sala, e. T. 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 So you hit one time, it's T1. You hit two times, it's T2. T2. T. To, tau, oh. lani. T2. T2. So T2 is 2 a.m. Someone is hitting the metal really, really softly. When I was young, I heard this sound. I think I was probably like five, six years old in a small village. That was less than 30 years ago. So every hour, T1, T2, T3, T4, then it's become 6 a.m. 6 a.m. in a temple, the monk is giving the time. Now it's the monk turn, okay? And he will hit the gong six times. Okay. But this time, the gong sound is mong. Uh-huh. So this become mong. So you call hok mong chao. Hok mong chao. Jet mong. Jet mong. Jet mong. You can just say jet mong, right? Without saying uh-huh. chao. Right. And chao means morning. Right. Chao means morning. Yes. Okay. okay. You, you can leave out the chao. If the monk hit the gong ten times, what time uh-huh. is it? Sit mong ka. Chai ka di mak sit mong. Sit et mong, 11 a.m. And here comes the midday. We call Tiang Wan. Tiang. Tiang Wan. Wan mean day. Mm-hmm. So midday. Midday. Mid of the day. Now it's become 1 p.m. We call bye. 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 Yes. Yeah, sound like goodbye, but you make it low tone. Bye. 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 Bye mean off center. Bye. If you say bye alone, mm-hmm. it's mean afternoon. And if you say bye, mong. By mong. By mong is 1 p.m. Mm-hmm. And guess what 2 p.m. is? By song. By song. And of course, by sam. By sam. And next is? Si mong ka. Oh, by si mong. It doesn't become evening until 5? Well, you know, there is no fixed rule for this. Some say mm-hmm. si mong yen. Yen mean evening. Okay. Some still say by si mo. By si. By si mo. Okay. And of course, the confusion again at 5 p.m. You can say ha mo yen. Or you can say by ha mo. Okay. Right? And 6 p.m. is hok mo yen. Hok mo yen. Then. So it's, it's yes. really up to you then. When you want to make it the evening. Right. At 7 p.m., of course, the telling time system, we used a really big drum. Oh. It's give the doom sound. Yeah, doom. uh-huh. Doom. Mm-hmm. That's why it's become tum. 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 
Tum. Tum. For me, I think this is really confusing. The most confusing part is Tum, but it's become Nung Tum. Right, Nung Tum is 7 p- p.m. Exactly. So the way to remember is is consider as 6 p.m. It's zero. Okay. And so one hour after the zero point, which is 6 p.m., one hour after, so that's why it becomes Nung Tum. Nung Tum. And then Song Tum. Mm-hmm. And then all the way to 11 p.m. is... Ha Tum. Ha Tum. Chai Ka Ha Tum. And I only can remember that because I think if I'm up at 11, that's ha ha ha. I never stay up that late. Okay. I'm an old lady. I like to go to bed early. <laughs> and then, of course, midnight. Tiang Kun. Tiang Kun. Tiang Kun. Tiang Kun. I know it's a complicated subject and it might take some time for everybody to get their heads around. And you're not alone because when I was young and we learned this in school, believe me, I came back home and looking at the clock and oh my gosh. And then what? Even mm-hmm. even Thai people have problem when they t- learn about the time. Practice make perfect, right? The more yeah. you practice, the more you use it, eventually it will come naturally. So do you think Thais will ever move away from this old system of telling time with the sounds of the gong and the, the, drum. the drums? Or do you think they'll keep it? That's a good question. Well, Westerners um, use AM, PM. I don't know how many years since we start to learn English. We still haven't changed a bit about okay. the time. I'm not sure when. Maybe never. Okay. Yeah. So it's good to know. It's good to learn, especially if you want to make an appointment and you want to make sure that your Thai friends are showing up in the right time. But you know, if you speak AM, PM with a young generation, they can understand. So let's meet tomorrow. Sip mong. Sip mong. Even though you don't say the word chow. But it still refer to 10 a.m. Sip Mong Chao because 10 p.m. we call Si Tum. Si Tum. Yes, four hours after six o'clock. So, Si Tum. Si Tum. Mm-hmm. My goodness, amazing Thailand. And talking about time again. Yes. Some might say Thai time. It's okay to be a little late. Yeah. It's fine. It's okay. It's acceptable. But. Let's say if someone invites you to the wedding and they have a time. For this kind of ceremony, we really, really respect the time because we believe that this is the lucky time. Mm-hmm. You cannot miss it for a second. Yeah. If someone getting married, they go to the monk to get the lucky time. And okay, this is the time. If you arrive a little later, it's okay, but you're going to miss the really important part when they start the ceremony mm-hmm. and they won't wait. Yeah, this is the, a few occasions that tie really on time. That's yes. definitely good to know. Thank you for listening. If you have any comments or feedback, please feel free to leave it on the site. We'll see you next time. Sawadee ka. Sawadee ka. If you don't want to miss a lesson, please subscribe and click like to this video. I'll see you next time. Sawadee ka.